Hi, this video is on current dividers and it's uh, part four in a series. Uh, and in this video, I'm mainly going to be talking about uh, Kirchhoff's current law. And so, I mean, what is it? I mean, we've actually been using it in some of the previous videos, but if you haven't seen those, uh, all that Kirchhoff's current law, all it, I mean, the fancy way to say it is the algebraic sum of the currents entering and leaving a point in a circuit must equal zero. Or basically, just what goes into a circuit must come out. So, if you're sending in some current here, in this way, and it hits a branch, that current's going to split up. Some of it's going to come up here, and some of it's going to go down here. But when it does that, this current, I1 and I2, those two are going to equal up to I1. And that's that's all it's saying. That's 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 it. So, I mean, you don't have to think too much on that. That's that's all it is. So, uh, let's scroll down a little bit. and see if I can scroll down. My mouse isn't working too well. So, here, for instance, if you're... Uh, if you're going to write this down and try to solve it, you would say, okay, so the current in I1, and you'd say is equal to I1 plus I3, or I mean, I'm sorry, I2 plus I3. And so, uh, for instance, I1 for an example would be like, let's say 10 amps. And then I2 could be 5 amps, and I3 could be 5 amps. So long as this equals 10 amps, and that's and that's all there is to it. Uh, well, let's go down to this one. Or you, you might see it in this, uh, you might see it this way where they'll write it like this. But I mean, again, you get the same thing. So you have the current here, I am the total current, IT, it's coming in, and it's just gonna, some of it's gonna go down this branch, some of it's gonna go down this branch, and some of it's gonna go down this branch. But as it splits off, like for instance, uh, this part right here is all I3. And at this point, it meets up with I2. So from here, at this part, you actually have I2 plus I3. That's what, how much current you have right here. And when it meets up at this point right here, then you're gonna have I1 plus I2 plus I3 or the total current uh, and that's that's pretty much how it is sometimes like they'll give you problems where they'll give you this current or maybe they'll give you some of these currents and then they'll, they'll tell you to solve for the total current but uh, I'll, I'll do one of, actually yeah I'll do that one in the next video so anyhow I, I hope this helped to clarify what Kirchhoff's current lies but if not don't worry about it I'll put up a couple more videos but uh, I, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, good luck in your classes